this passion come from, you know, because you have passion with uh, feminine development, where did this come from? I think it probably started as a child. Um, I had a, if I say difficult childhood, my sister and I grew up in the same bedroom. Um, she's also a psychologist and um, she had a fantastic childhood and I had a hard childhood. You know, it's one's outlook in life. I think for me, I had a brother and a sister and being the third one and the oldest, always having to take care of everybody. I didn't have the nice friendship with my brother and my sister. They were very close. So as an outsider, I think I became a thinker. Mm -hmm. So there was always, always all the inside stuff going on and watching people. And I always talked a lot. So people would say to me when we walked home from school, you know, like, just go walk there. Oh. <laughs> so I ended up watching people a lot. Mm -hmm. And I always wow. ended up talking to people when they were having a tough time. Or they'd come to me when they wanted something to change because I was the one who was always outspoken about mm -hmm. it. Probably from there. Um, last year, uh, an old friend, she was a mentee for me when I was in the business world, approached me on Facebook of all places. It has some good functions. And she said to me, Adela, I want to tell you, if you never asked me that one question, I never would have been able to be in this managerial position. And she's the head of what she's doing at the moment for a very big company. And I said to her, what on earth did I ask you? <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't even remember it all. No, no. I think it's just no. always been there, you know, passion for people, wanting to help people and um, having a tough time myself mm -hmm. wow. but you know what they say we end up teaching what we want to know